All right, today I'd like to give you a little tour of a Marlowe 37 Prowler. For those of you that haven't seen a Prowler, it's made by Marlowe Yachts, the same people that make the big motor yachts. Pretty limited production. Uh, they only make a few of these a year at special request. They're all custom built. And it's really a unique boat. It's a fairly flat aft, so it's a very stable platform to go cruising in. It wasn't built as a fishing boat. It was built uh, really for kind of cruising to, from yacht club to yacht club, intercoastal cruising. I have a customer that uses one of these to go uh, all the way up the Hudson River every summer. And uh, sometimes he stays on the boat, sometimes he checks into an inn. Uh, but it's a really unique boat. It has twin 440 Anmars, a uh, very comfortable one stateroom boat. You'll find that the, um, the teak work is much nicer inside than normal because it's built in a, in a, in a motor yacht factory, not just a small boat factory. And the, um, you'll find that the, the head and sleeping area is particularly nice compared to most uh, production fishing boats. All right, come on aboard and we'll take you through the yacht. All right, welcome aboard. You'll notice there's great seating here for six people. And uh, most of the owners of these boats use them for day cruising and then occasionally um, kind of camp out on them and sleep for a couple of nights. Um, up here, you'll notice this is the perfect sheltered area for running. Uh, I have the ability to open these hatches, but what's really nice here is I have a, a windshield with windshield wipers. So even on the roughest, nastiest of days, this boat's very safe and very dry inside. We didn't really want a big galley down in this design, so what we've done here is we just did a small cooktop here and a sink up here. We have a microwave on the boat as well, um, but I'm finding most of these owners really aren't doing a lot of cooking on the boat. And then uh, in here, we've got a nice little uh, convection microwave. So it's really perfect for a long weekend. This is a really nice elevated helm seat, and I've got great visibility from up here. And my co-pilot also has a great chair, just like this one. So when the two of you are really cruising, it's a really safe, um, protected environment and you're going to find yourself, yourself being able to go out on days when others wouldn't. Let's go look below. Again, the idea here was not to sleep a whole bunch of people. I want a couple to be really comfortable. So I've got a nice big bed, I've got a proper place to sit. Um, and a really large head. And this feels much larger down here than most boats because of all the windows that are at eye level. Uh, got a nice full length mirror here. So it's really, really set up for the couple. Down here I've got another uh, drink fridge here. And I actually have another little sink right here. I think one of the nicest features of this boat is how nice this head is. If you look in there, you'll see I've got a really nice granite countertop, growy fixtures, really nice shower, much nicer than you typically find on a boat of this size range. And again, that's because it's built in the Marlow Explorer factory. You'll notice all the growy fixtures, all the teak work you just don't find in a in, in a uh, production fiberglass boat. All right, one of the challenges in smaller vessels like this is access to the engines for maintenance. I want to show you this great feature we have. All right, so from right here, I have access to both engines and my generator. Really easy to get into and service. 
very compact boat. You don't typically find 880 horsepower in a boat this size, but it really scoots. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. We do have a bow thruster. Test that. Good. Make sure it shifts. Good.
All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we ran out to, into Terracia Bay and we were cruising mainly at uh, between 20 and 25 knots. Boat seems to really like that 21, 22 knot range. Turbochargers aren't very loud and it's really comfortable. Um, it'll do, you know, 33, but it starts to get loud up, or up above 30 knots. I think this boat is perfect at 21, 22 knots, cruise all day. Uh, engines aren't working too hard, it's under 3,000 RPM. So if you're interested in this boat, uh, please look at the link below. And if you missed this one, let me know. Um, we probably have one or two of these a year come up for sale. Thank you.